Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. Many a times in React Native, when you are developing apps, you come at a stage when you want some feature that is not inbuilt in React Native, but it's possible to code that feature using Android native code or iOS native code. So in such stages, we can develop a react native module for android or ios to extend the native feature of android or ios and bring it in bring that feature in react native so uh, native modules are very useful in such situations and today we will see how we can develop a native module so we will be developing a pinterest authentication native module so let's get started so first thing we need to do is that we need to create a react native project uh, using react native init command so i have already done that and i have created a react native project named pinterest auth so next we need to get into the directory the iOS directory in the Pinterest auth project. So let's use the cd command to get into that directory. And we need to install the uh, Pinterest SDK. So we, will, we are installing here Pinterest iOS SDK. And we will be using pod uh, to install that. So now we are in iOS directory and we need to use the command pod init to create a pod file. So here we are creating a pod file. Okay, so our pod file is created and now we can open this pod file to make some changes okay we i'm using atom editor you can use some good editor because pod file need a proper editor to make changes So I need to go to React Native Pinterest Auth project and let's open this project. And in the iOS directory, I have this pod file. So I don't need all these things. Let's remove what I don't need. So I don't need this. So I need to install the dependencies for iOS Pinterest SDK and I will add this to my pod file and I will do a pod install the command for that is pod install So this is installing all the dependencies. Okay, so my Pinterest SDK is installed now. 
and now I need to make some changes to the plist file so I will open the plist file First, let's open our project. Uh, in Xcode so that we can make the changes easily. Okay, so this is our project. And This is our pod file and this is the main directory of the project and we will open the info.plist by open as source code. So here is our info.plist. And now here we need to add this code. We need to add it between the dict tags. So this dict tags will have a new tags. And just to check that everything is placed fine, we will open it as property list. So it, it opened successfully. So that means our tags are placed correctly. And So here we have our one settings and the other settings that is we need to add an app ID that is here. So for now there is no app ID. Here we need to add an app ID. So let, let's first create an app ID. So to create app ID we need to follow this link and here I already have an app so I will use this app ID you need to add it to the pdk you need to just replace the your dash app dash id with the actual app id in this way and it's done so let's see what we need to do next next we need to add some code to the app delegate dot m so let's do it So first thing we need to do is that we need to add this import and next we need to add this code.
and finally we need to add this method at the end okay so we are done and let's see what we need to do next okay we need to create a coca touch class so before doing that we will once run our project and see if it builds without any error So it's almost done. okay so we cannot see any error so I think it should the build should be successful okay so the build succeeded so now we can continue so next we need to create a coca touch class So 
so we will name our coca touch class pinterest manager we will right click on the main directory and we will create a new file and we will select coca touch class and the name we will give is pinterest manager and that's it this is basically a objective this is basically objective c class and this will create two files for us pinterest manager h and pinterest manager m so now we need to add some code to it that is this is the main code that is needed we are adding this code to pinterest.h so we don't need this and next we need to add some code to pinterest manager.m so what we are doing exactly here is that we have imported the PTK client from uh, Pinterest uh, SDK that we installed using pod and we are creating a shared instance of this PDK client and we are using this shared interest to get the auth token and this code is code works when the user signs up that is the user authenticates and is returned back to the app then a auth token is generated and that token we can get it from here so we are getting the token from here and we are returning as a promise to the react native app so this ios part is returning the auth token to the react native and there we can use that token that is the authentication token in case there is any error then this part of code is executed the failure and the error is returned to the react native so that's it that's all code we need to add let's see what we need to do next so now we can do some coding in the main file so let's create a button
so when user presses this button then we will execute our command we will execute our code that we have here so let's use this code first we will import the native modules and then we will get the Pinterest manager that we created using the native module and finally we will be using this Pinterest manager to call the Pinterest method that we just created So let's first not use this code. Let's let's first check if our button is working. So let's run our app first. and this has started the simulator where we will test our app this is the app that we are working on Pinterest auth So there is an unexpected token at 33. Sorry, I placed the comment at wrong place. Now it should work. Can't find variable button. I need to import the button. Okay, so I haven't used this here. Okay, so here I have a button, and if I press this button, then it is showing pressed okay so now let's comment this and uncomment our code that is the Pinterest authentication code let's see what happens so it has redirected me to and here I can log in
okay so I think the authentication is successful and it should yeah it has returned the authentication token so the authentication was successful so our Pinterest authentication module is working fine and uh, I hope you guys have learned something new and must have enjoyed it and if you want some uh, uh, informative and such uh, tutorials which uh, are more than the conventional tutorials then please do subscribe to our website's newsletter or you can subscribe to the our YouTube channel and if possible make some small donations and we will continue our endeavor to bring such uh, tutorials to for you thank you guys so much for checking out this tutorial have a nice day